Jaguars. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Jacksonville. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now ETN to start the drive. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 22 now, here's the second down and six. On the counter, ETN, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for, and this time he uses quickness to make a play. They go play action now. Lawrence. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll run with Pollard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Pollard trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Deuce Vaughn taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Hey, Lyle. 
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is in his first throw of the game, but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. On oh, second down, ETN once more. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And they'll indeed go for it. Here's Lawrence. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 40. From the 47, it's second and five. From the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETN. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense he'll get this off to etn and he is out of bounds inside the 35 10 yards there good enough for a jags first down another catch for him there on this drive brandon and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going Lawrence going to throw again. This is caught. It's Dearness Johnson. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Flush to his right. Lawrence hit him, the ball is free. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. McManus' point after is good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Devontae Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. 
if you don't think there's some one upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. On third down, it's Prescott. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. We've hit the two minute mark of the first half. All knotted up, it's seven. Prescott off play action. And incomplete on the deep ball. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Well, I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Here's Vaughn. They'll run for it. We kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. And that's complete to his running back, Vaughn. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Throwing. Prescott. This one swung out to Vaughn. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Final play of the half, it's Lawrence. Flushed out, and he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. 
So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Prescott's throw taken in there by Cooks. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Swinging this out for Pollard. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Prescott now on second down. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 27-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll get to Pollard. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out. Would not allow him to cut up field. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Looking to throw, Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in, because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now Prescott. Incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now here's Pollard. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Okay. 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play. Vaughn. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. On the ball, on the ball, let's go. On first down, Lawrence, a short throw to Ingram, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now Lawrence on first down. He'll drop that underneath to ETM. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. They've created a nice sustained drive off the plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Now second and four. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Here comes second down. Back to throw. Lawrence escaping the pressure right. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. This is first and 10. First and 10 at the 12 yard line. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. 46 seconds left. Second down here. 
Here's Lawrence. This is caught. I'm not surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at all. Use them now. Here we go. First and goal. First and goal. Lawrence. And this is caught. Touchdown. And now they're an extra point away from winning this thing in the final seconds. Well, that's the one they had to have. Put them in a position where they're tied up, but I got to get out of the way. We still got an extra point that's pretty crucial. That's right. Just one more element to complete the victory. A very important extra point there, up and good. And that might be enough to win them the football game as they now take the lead in the final seconds. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle this one. Well, it took us until the final play chart to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done.